Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be seal coating my asphalt drive with the Gardner Drive Seal 4 year filler and sealer. And we're also going to be doing a cleanup with the Purple Power in some of the problem areas that we have as far as oil spots with our simple garden sprayer. The only additional tool you'll need other than a broom and a scrub brush is a squeegee that we'll be using in order to properly spread around the sealant and fill in all of our cracks. The first thing you want to do is flip the bucket onto its top at least 24 hours in advance of using it. That way all of the solids or anything that's in the bottom has sufficient time to sink down and then mix with the rest of the sealant. Now we're going to be mixing it anyways, but this is a good step just to make sure everything mixes easier. So here's our pad that we're going to be sealing, and this is just a parking pad that we use. Uh, make sure that when you do this, it's going to be at least 65 degrees or warmer. And we have a few problem spots here that we're going to be addressing with our degreaser here in just a few minutes after we do a basic sweep. Sweeping is going to be your first step. So on the day that you're ready to go, um, you'll see I have a lot of leaves here. Get those off, get the stones and sticks, anything out of the way. And then that's going to lead us right into our next step, which is going to be washing it. Now, having a pressure washer would be ideal. I don't have one of those. Um, Hercules here prefers the water hose anyways. But uh, so what we'll do is go ahead and get everything wet. And then I took a little bit of soap and just used a scrub brush and just kind of give everything a general clean. Once everything was cleaned, um, the surface was basically prepped aside from using the degreaser on our problem areas. With that being said, we'll go ahead and fill our garden sprayer partway with degreaser and then the rest of the way with water. I didn't measure it out, I just kind of eyeballed it. Um, you can adjust your solution or even use full solution if need be. But I've got these oil spots that are problem areas and this is something that can break down asphalt if untreated. Um, but what we did is went ahead and sprayed it down, wet the area. After a little bit more degreaser and a little more water, it actually foamed up really nicely. And I took my little scrub brush here, scrubbed any and all the oil spots that I could find and even some of the dirty spots it just didn't come off with the general clean and once you get that give everything a nice rinse down and then you should be left with a clean surface to go ahead and bring in your asphalt ceiling so now that our sealer has set upside down for 24 hours uh, we've opened up the can and we're going to go ahead and do a simple mix i was surprised that this looked very brown i thought it was going to be more black but we're going to go with it and just see what happens it also would have been more ideal to have a power stir that you'd hook up to a drill. I just use a simple piece of PVC pipe here. And I did more of a stir than what you're seeing here. This is just me holding the camera. Um, but I made sure to get all the way to the bottom and stir it up as best as I could. Even then it still remained brown with just a little bit of black in there. So I was worried it wasn't mixed properly. I've made a mess. It's all over the bucket. I think once you get started with this, it's really going to be troublesome trying to keep everything as neat as you'd like. But either way, we're going to go ahead and move forward with the step of getting it onto the asphalt and then we'll start spreading but again this is all over the bucket so you may even want to wear gloves I was able just to use the handle and uh, we're going to go ahead and give our first pour and see how it goes all right so that was pretty fun so I'm gonna go ahead and get the squeegee here I'll do just a quick couple of pulls with it with the camera in hand and then I'll probably switch angles and just do more of a time lapse uh, unfortunately my asphalt's a little uneven it does better pulling it looks like than it did pushing um, it's going to be easier if your asphalt's more level than what mine is, um, but there are going to be imperfections and either way We'll go ahead and do a more of a time lapse let you guys check it out And I'll kind of give you a little more tidbits of my experience So for starters, I do highly recommend using the squeegee. It was about $25 at Home Depot But I think being that this is the initial seal on my asphalt It's good to go ahead and lay it down thick and then just kind of spread around that way it has time to absorb into the small cracks minor imperfections and just any crevices that you may have on your asphalt itself uh, but it's definitely very useful i think rolling it on would have been too thin once everything dries i may always come back and or you could always come back and just do a roll um, or another layer uh, but just kind of worked myself backwards here i didn't go about any certain pattern um, maybe i should have but it worked out really well for me in hindsight and the brown that I was worried about, uh, it actually changed to black and it started to dry pretty quickly. So I wasn't as worried once I got going about that initial brown coloring. It actually really helped to see where I had already been. Some people also suggest once you get halfway through your bucket to mix your other one with it to ensure that the colors are the same. I just went ahead and used that in my whole bucket. And also in hindsight, after using my second bucket, I didn't have any issues. Everything dried uniformly. Another thing I would recommend, just as you see here, I've got black clothing on, just and it's old clothes, so make sure you wear something that's gonna get dirty. Even using the squeegee, um, it splattered up, it got all over my shoes, all over my legs. 
but it washes off easily. It doesn't come off so easily from your clothes, but it'll come off your skin with just a little bit of water. But definitely wear something that's going to be thrown away if it's uh, shoes. A lot of guys use boots. And once I got my first layer down, I actually had enough left over and it had dried enough to where I was able to go back around, get my edges good, and I actually laid down a whole second layer um, and it dried very nicely. So I highly recommend that if you have the extra. Um, the buckets will say on there how much they cover. I believe it was somewhere around 300 square feet. So definitely uh, utilize all the product that you have. You can see where I'm walking that's already been sealed. That part is all also already dry, so it wasn't sticking to my shoes or anything. So I was pretty happy to be able to lay down a second coat. Again, it's super important to put this down on a day that is 65 degrees and rising. And ideally, you're going to be in a little bit of sunshine. That way, things can have optimal drying power. And we go ahead and wrap it up here. And this is a pretty simple process. It's not as easy as it looks on this video or other videos that I've seen. But definitely a super important thing that you want to do if you have asphalt. The final product turned out really nice. Everything dried out pretty uniformly. Uh, all the imperfections sealed in. I was super happy with the outcome. And I think it's going to help protect it from any future oil drips if they were to happen. You can see on the edges here where I have gravel, how it kind of coated up. I should have probably peeled the gravel back and made sure that it got every little bit there. But I'll come back and touch this up with a paintbrush or maybe with a second coat later. And although this sealer dried out pretty quickly, they definitely recommend not driving on it until at least 48 hours. I'll probably give mine just a little bit longer than that just to be safe. Um, in the future, I'm going to be putting a garage over this. So this is going to be a super useful space. I want to go ahead and get it sealed in before that took place. But I'll let you know how this holds up over time and if I have to do additional coats. Again, this is the Gardner Drive Seal 4. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. I do my best to get back to everyone the same day. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I do a lot of videos around the house, but I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. Peace.